And howdy, folks. Um, it's Dave. Uh, sorry about the last few days and not getting back to y'all and and everything. I'm like I said on on the one post. Uh, my computer went totally crazy on me. I figured out what it was though. Uh, I got my toys the other day. And and I loaded one of them. With, one of them is this new little video camera here that I thought I was getting a mid-price camera, and so that I could take videos for y'all and um, rent three hundred, little over three hundred or so, and that's what a mid-price, you know, semi-decent camera cost before. But I apparently got a pretty good one. I'm, the English section of the um, instruction manual is is 122 pages long. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to use this. But one of the funny things on this is it's got a headlight. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why that cracks me up, but a video camera with its own headlight is just like, and it's, you know, it's a pretty bright light. Um, so it's uh, so I've got that I got a couple hardware drivers what happened was I installed the drivers for this this is a this is a Canon camera and my other digital camera was a Kodak and what happened as near as I can tell is that when I loaded the drivers for this it was on the charger being charged for the first time and so I went ahead and opened up the computer to put I got a couple hard drive coolers uh, to put the hard drive coolers in and and um, well apparently Kodak and Canon don't get along because as near as I can tell the drivers got onto my data bus and started fighting and and distracted the drivers badly enough that he ran off the road none of my programs on my C drive would work and I figured that was alright um, I've got everything backed up onto my D drive and along with my uh, along with my downloads and I'll just you know reload windows and and fix that and then uh, and then my D drive disappeared and then my computer really started getting weird because it started assigning letter names, weird letter names to the drives. That, I mean, I had drives with Q and L and, and S and, you know, all these weird letter names. Decided I had two floppy drives. I've only got one. I don't know what the hell was going on with it. And then my, so I ended up having to reformat my D drive as well. And now I've got things working and everything's downloading. But I've got, I'm trying to get my little living space here set up. As you can see, Dave's not in bed for once. Uh, no, I'm not in bed all the time. Somebody asked about that. Um, I'm not in bed all the time. Uh, I obviously get up to eat and make my meals and use the bathroom and wash up and things like that. But I've, I've got to restrict the time that I'm up generally to no more than about an hour a day. So I've been up longer than that already uh, because today we had an adventure. But let me finish showing you my toys. I got I got a second monitor. Uh, let me see if I can get it here. A nice widescreen monitor that I put on my tray table. And then I can bring over the bed. And I took my old monitor and put it on this rack, that, this, this ar lever arm that hangs over the bed. So I'll have an over, I've got, I'll have two monitors and, and uh, be able to do that. And, uh, and then here's the, here, here's my finished monster machine. Let me see if I can get a shot of that. There's there's my my monster computer, uh, four point. I've got a three point four gigahertz uh, 
Pentium 4 gig, uh, CPU overclocked up to 4.1 gigahertz. Water cooled system, uh, modified, heavily modified water cooled system. Um, a video, a video card with uh, uh, two outputs and and uh, one input for cable, and I've got that hooked up, so I'll be able to watch movies on my and TV on my monitors if I want to. And uh, that's got one gigabyte of video RAM, so I'm set there for any. I can handle any kind of game there is out there, or. or video uh, software so and and all that but today we had an adventure I I worked on the computer until I was just dog tired and I went to sleep about noon or so uh, last night now because 342 in the morning uh, woke up about 11 o'clock and I had no power and I figured, you know, the transformer had blown down the street or something. That happens every once in a while when we give a thunderstorm. And then I look, and there's no, all the lights are on in the buildings around us. So I figured maybe the power went out in our building somehow. And I get Ciela ready to take her for a walk uh, so she can do her business. And when I get out in the hall, my neighbor's lights are on in his apartment. So, it's not the building. I get down to the lobby. I had already checked my circuit breakers, you know, reset all my circuit breakers to make sure that wasn't the problem. And I get down to the lobby, and one of my neighbors is down there, and uh, I asked her if she was having problems. We got hit by lightning today. And in her apartment, it blew the shit out of her main... Uh, uh, circuit breaker. I, I saw it and it had to be replaced. I saw it burned that sucker black. I mean, we got a big power surge through, through our wires here. So I figured that was it. So right now we're getting on about 11, 11 15 at night or so. And uh, I asked her to call the, she was bragging on her electrician and what a wonderful guy he was. I asked her to call him and see if he would be willing to come out and fix my system because I'm you know I've got my medical stuff that requires electricity so he did he, he got up got dressed and came came on out and um, uh, I was thinking I was gonna have to pay him you know for a new circuit breaker and then excuse me a second I got a spasm um, figured I, had, I was going to have to pay him for a new circuit breaker or something. And he goes to the main panel out in the in the hallway there and <laughs> flips one lever. And then we're going to come back and check my circuit breakers. Get back to my apartment. All my lights are on. I felt so stupid. I didn't even know that breaker was out there. They, the electric company installed that at some point without my knowledge. I didn't know that was out there. So this will tell you how nice Puerto Ricans are. This is one of the things I was trying I was mentioned the other day about how nice Puerto Ricans are. This guy got up, came out in the middle of the night. It took him forty five minutes to get here from the time that she called him. Came out here in the middle of the night to flip one switch and I had to argue with him and basically force him to take 20 bucks for his trouble. He wouldn't take any more. Um, I had to force him to take 20 bucks for, his, for the trouble he had gone to for me. Because right now we're getting on 11.30, 11.45, you know, it's almost midnight. And so anyway, that's, that's the adventure of today. I'll... Uh, post another video tomorrow hopefully and um, I will holler at y'all later I'm hoping this works on my laptop